Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I am in my garage and winter has just happened. So today I wanna to show you a little trick for electric heating. That's right, it's still October and yet we're in the middle of a snowstorm. Uh, it's cold, it's icky outside, but I wanna be in my garage uh, working on some projects. So if you're like me, you have a garage that you also use as your workshop space, it would be nice to have a little bit of heat in the in here and that's where an electric car can come in. So I've got my electric car parked right here and it's plugged into the wall with my typical uh, 240 volt charging connection. And a neat trick with pretty much every commercially built electric car is the preheating feature. And that might be done on a timer, might be through the touch screen in your car, it might be done through an app. Now this is a first generation electric car. This was a 2012. This was when uh, modern electric cars were just coming out. So it's pretty basic. This one just uses uh, the key fob. So if we come in close on this, I can show you how this works. So first of all, the car has to be plugged in. And then on the key fob, what we do is we press the power button it turns on, we can actually hear a few clicks from the car. And I'm gonna go through the mode settings here down to the heating and cooling. And I can actually cycle through a couple settings. Um, we can heat the car, we can also cool it. Uh, so literally, uh, if you're in Las Vegas and you have one of these cars, you can set it to air condition before you hop in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kick it over to the heat setting and activate that and give it a second and it'll give me a little feedback showing that it's plugged in and the heat is running. So I can hear the heat just kicked on in the car. So this is great if you want to, uh, you know, drive to work, whatever it is you're doing, and you do this ahead of time. So you hop in your car, it's already toasty warm, which is great, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right in my garage. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll down the windows. So now when I preheat the car, instead of heating the car, uh, I'm gonna be heating my garage. And actually, if we look over where the car is plugged in, I have a meter showing how much uh, power we can get out of this. And we can get a lot more heat out of this than we could with uh, just a little 15 amp, 120 volt space heater. The other thing is it's nice and safe. It's enclosed, it's built into the car. Um, there's no worries about uh, you know something in the garage catching on fire. Also that preheat feature in the car is gonna turn off automatically after 30 minutes. So if I just walked away or something like that, um, you know, I don't have a piece of equipment that's running unattended. Uh, the other thing I could do is open the hatch. That's a great way to let all the heat out. But if the door or the hatch is open, I can't start that preheat feature. Um, it's kind of like, hey, you're trying to heat your car. Why are you doing that with the door open? So if I wanted to uh, open the door, for example, um, I do that after it started. So I'm literally just gonna use my car here as uh, the heater for my garage while I'm working out here, cause why not? It's built in, I already got it and it works pretty well. Uh, the other thing though, seriously, um, with it getting cold out, if you have an electric car or even if you have a gasoline car, check out a 12 volt electric heated blanket. It's an electric blanket, just like you might use at home, but with a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. Uh, this is fantastic, especially for the back seat. Even cars that have heated seats, a lot of times the rear seat isn't heated. Uh, a lot of times, uh, even in a gas car, the heat from the front doesn't really get to the back. So get yourself a 12 volt electric heated blanket, get some heat where you want it to go. It's also extremely efficient. This draws a very small amount of power. If you have an electric car, this does not put a dent in your range the way that some of the cabin heaters sometimes can. So here's the interior of my car, nothing that fancy. Uh, but if we bust out the thermal camera, we can see what's going on. All up on the dash is nice and warm, uh, especially up on the windshield there. Uh, great for defrosting the windshield, gets the ice off, lets you see, no fog. And even the seat is kind of nice and warm for my butt. So have you ever heated your garage with your electric car? I know it sounds wacky, but hey, already have all the equipment. It's cold outside and boom, I get some heat from it, which is kind of nice. Uh, if you have a Tesla Model S or a Nissan Leaf or whatever electric car, have you done this before? What's different? Um, like this will stop after about half an hour. Um, on your car, do you have a certain time limit? Uh, do you get an error if the windows are down? Let me know in the comments. And as always, stay charged up.